Hello. Millions of wild boars attack, causing many traffic accidents in Alaska and threatening the safety and lives of people here. According to estimates by the US Department of Agriculture, damage caused by wild boars to the transportation industry amounts to 3.1 billion USD each year. To fight this wild enemy, Alaska farmers had to use a method wild boar traps. This method is done like this. Please watch the video below. <laughs> Wild boar. Famous for their aggression, these creatures pose a serious threat to the safety of people. Every year, statistics show that about 320 people are victims of traffic collisions involving wild boars in Alaska. The cost of repairing traffic infrastructure is over 2.4 billion USD. Unexpected encounters between wild boars and vehicles not only cause damage to vehicles, but also threaten the lives of drivers and passengers. Their sudden appearance on the road can lead to emergency situations requiring drivers to brake suddenly or move away causing a high risk of traffic accidents. In addition, these sudden collisions cause damage to traffic infrastructure, creating a large repair cost for the government. With the above dangerous situations to prevent wild boars using net traps is an urgent measure. Net traps are often placed in strategic locations near their path. The trap installation process requires at least two people or more to complete quickly and safely. setting traps does not take much of the hunter's time and at the same time, it helps hunters observe traps while at home. Net traps have the outstanding feature of being able to capture and prevent wild boars from escaping. The net trap design includes sturdy meshes and the gaps between the meshes are small enough to prevent them from getting out. With its large size, net traps can capture an average of 10 to 15 at the same time. This method is more effective than small traps, helping to save time and effort in hunting and controlling the number of wild boars. According to information from Alaska, using corn bait has been proven to be highly effective in attracting and catching wild boars. Some studies show that the success rate of wild boar traps using corn bait can be up to 80%. 
Wild boars are often attracted by the special aroma of corn, so most people often use it. Using a sufficient amount of corn bait, avoiding waste, helps optimize trap efficiency without causing expense. Setting up wild boar traps requires compliance with strict requirements to ensure safety and effectiveness. Net traps need to be cleaned up and removed from the location after catching them to avoid affecting the environment and other animals. They are handled humanely in compliance with wildlife protection regulations. After each use, the net trap must be cleaned so it can be reused the next time. Installing traps is quite simple and easy, however. Hunters must have a hunting license and be in good health and understand their behavior to avoid dangerous situations. Installing traps not only saves hunters time, but also helps limit the pursuit of wild boars on bad weather days. However, it is necessary to check wild boar traps at least every 24 hours to ensure the traps are working effectively and to promptly handle them when caught. According to statistics from the Alaska Department of Transportation ADA, the number of wild boars hunted in Alaska in recent years has ranged from 2,000 to 4,000 per year. Reasons why some communities do not support trap hunting for wild boars in Alaska include concerns about safety and fairness in hunting. They say the use of traps could lead to overhunting, posing the risk of reducing wild boar numbers too quickly and causing ecological imbalance the potential damage is the reduction of biodiversity and injury to other species in the natural environment. In addition, during the collection process, hunters will have to approach at least five feet away to avoid the risk of being attacked by wild boars. In some areas such as Alaska, people often use silenced guns to hunt them right in traps to quickly collect and minimize risks. To transport wild boars, large trucks are used allowing all caught wild boars to be transported in one go, saving time and effort.
In addition, the government spent $500,000 to install fences around major roads where wild boars often pass to reduce vehicle collisions with wild boars. This is a truly necessary measure to protect both animals and drivers. The fence will be installed at a height of eight feet, enough to make it impossible for wild boars to cross. To ensure durability and resistance to destruction, the fence will be made of sturdy and high thickness steel to ensure long-term protection. If you are looking for an effective solution to dealing with wild boars, iron cage traps are an option worth considering. In the next section, you will experience how iron cage traps with large iron plates can catch twice as many wild boars as net traps, about 30 to 40 animals. You will discover firsthand the outstanding advantages that iron cage traps bring, from high durability, effective capturability to easy maintenance and transportation. Don't miss the interesting content below. If you have effective methods for dealing with dangerous invasive species, please share them in the comments below to help Alaskans. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to share with Mouse Farm in comment number one down below and down below. Please stay tuned for the next video about other invasive species. Since the beginning of the 20th century, the number of bison in Canada has decreased sharply, especially after the 1940s. The main cause is believed to be the invasion of wolves. As wolf numbers increased to about 150,000 in Alberta, they hunted bison fiercely due to lack of food sources. The damage caused by the decline of bison numbers is enormous. Canadian farmers lost their main source of income from bison farming, affecting their lives and economy. Please share the video with your loved ones so your family will have good luck. In addition, an increase in the number of wolves in Canada has led to an outbreak of echinococcus due to the invasion of wolves into human habitation areas. This disease will develop into cancer, which is dangerous for humans. The disease broke out in Canada in the 1970s and 1980s. This is a serious public health problem. If you don't know about this disease, learn how to prevent it. Due to the above serious damage caused by wolves, Canadians have used hunting tools to prevent encroachment caused by this wild species. In Canada, the use of wolf hunting equipment must be licensed by the Wildlife Management Agency, the Ministry of the Environment, or the Ministry of Natural Resources.
During this process, they must strictly comply with hunting regulations, including allowed areas, time and number of wolves that can be hunted, to ensure they do not affect the ecological balance. In the province of Ontario, the number of wolves decreased by 60% within five years after applying this. To get the above results, the hunter's experience is very important. Do you know which position on a wolf's body will knock them down the fastest? It is the head and neck of wolves where they are quickly taken down. To determine the correct location, the hunter must have knowledge of the wolf's body structure, as well as observation and judgment skills. When hunting, the safe distance for hunters is 100 to 200 feet. The reason is to avoid danger to humans in case of wolf attack. Each hunting tool will be installed with binoculars from the Rionics brand. This device is equipped with binoculars, which create a large and clear image in low light conditions. This helps the hunter recognize and observe the behavior and location of wolves without having to approach them, reducing the risk of detection and increasing the likelihood of hunting success. According to the survey, hunters appreciate the effectiveness of hunting combined with binoculars. Minimize waste of resources when hunting while minimizing environmental pollution. In rough terrain, using conventional hunting gear can be difficult due to lack of balance. To overcome this problem, hunting sticks are a useful solution, supporting hunters in the process of taking down wolves. The most suitable height for the stick is 5 feet. Thanks to the above advantages, walking sticks have become an important tool for Canadian hunters. Please comment number one if you have more effective measures to help Canadians cope. Nice shot. Yeah! Especially in mountainous terrain areas, mobile devices often have signal problems, which can limit communication between hunters and teammates or environmental management agencies. Therefore, hunters often use walkie-talkie devices to ensure effective message transmission. If you wonder why they need walkie-talkies when they already have remote viewing devices, if you don't have an answer yet, please comment below so we can help answer it. Finally, after defeating a large number of wolves, Canadians have taken measures to prevent the carcasses of wolves from polluting the environment. Canadian authorities require hunters, after defeating wolves, to be responsible for collecting their carcasses and reporting to local government agencies. According to statistics, 
Every hunting season, on average, a Canadian hunter collects one to three wolves per day. This data represents the continuous efforts of hunters to control the wolf population. Comment number two, if you find this hunter's action meaningful. When using hunting equipment to deal with invasive coyotes, hunters need to act humanely. First, they need to ensure that the tools used are suitable and capable of taking down coyotes quickly and painlessly for them. They also need to choose the position and angle of the kill to ensure accuracy. In taking this action, the hunter also needs to maintain respect for wolves and their existence in the ecosystem. For pregnant wolves and young wolves, hunters are not allowed to hurt them. Hunting is not only an entertaining experience but also an activity that requires extreme safety and care. To ensure the hunter's safety, yeah, hunting did. needs to be done with teammates. Wolves often work in packs and often appear in large numbers, which creates a threat to hunters when they approach mountainous areas. Hunters need to travel with a teammate to increase each other's safety and protection. This action not only helps share responsibility and enhance quick response in an emergency, but also helps deal with wolf aggression more effectively. Thank you for watching the entire video. In the process of dealing with invasive wolves, if there is anything you do not understand, please comment below so we can answer your questions. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, buddy, hey! At the same time, please share this video with many people to join hands to help the community. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the latest videos and now come with me to a new land.
So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.